let's go to the melody in three of three notes. I think that we can really spend even more time on the melody of three notes because the melody of three notes, I think that we are still not the best composers in the world on it. <laughs> and I think it's very important because uh, by uh, uh, having a grasp on that, we start really working the, the, the melody. So here is, um, I can do it in the, in the G clef, treble clef, and um, we have, uh, I give you three options, which are the only three options anyway you have that melodically notice what is very peculiar about each one of these. There's something very unique, very different of each in each one of these, right? Notice? Yeah, you notice the difference in each one of this? Do you notice? This one half is tone. different from that, how? Half tone. The half tone is where? Two. Yeah, here it is in the on the top two. Here it's in the bottom two and this there's none. Okay, so actually this is how we do it. This is full tone and half tone we do a little look like that. Okay, so these are the th three types of melody you can get on a, on a scale that is not a chromatic scale. The chromatic scale I'm going to play now. So that's a chromatic scale, we, we are not using that. If you have a, a scale that is a normal scale, usually diatonic scale, you'll have this type of pinch interval. Though you can have <coughs> other types in in, uh, in uh, non-traditional scales, but the diatonic scale will have this one. And by non-traditional, I mean if you have, so that's more than uh, you have a half and one and a half. So we're using this for the moment. Okay, so they have different, but it, it doesn't matter. So and then what I ask is, please sing the tune. And write it because that's a. I'm. I ask to use only this value, whole note, dotted half, half, quarter. and quarter, right? Yeah. So you have these values. So it limits a lot your rhythmic possibilities. What uh, what we were doing, we, we, what we saw with this is we saw that you could have the the four the three types of permutation. So we call it uh, prime was the, the normal one and prime and the retrograde then you have the inversion and these are the very important manipulation of the and retrograde inversion I'm just going to write it ri so basically there's a mirror here and that's that there's a mirror here. So basically the mirrors are put this way and the mirrors are put this way. So permutations of melodies, this is uh, the four, the four, uh, the three very important permutations of the melody. The prime is your melody as a normal, okay? So these are very important way to manipulate your, your tune and still keep, keep the sense of it. So the Bach, one Bach, the... <laughs> Tonal 
note center that was different in both melodies. So if I chose A as my tonal center in one of the melodies, I would then chose either the B or C as my tonal center in the next melody. That was the exercise. It was a very important thing to do because how do you create that? That was very difficult. So for example, I have this. I'm going to sing. Na, na, na. So one, two, three, A, B, C, D, C, A, B, B, C, 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 A, A C, B, C, C, C. I ended on C and you give, does it give that or are you confused when I end on that? So this is a very interesting thing, psychologically what happens? Are we confused when I end there? Instead I do C, C, B, C, C, A, B, C, C, na, 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 na. Now are you more convinced that it is in C? Now I want to give really clearly A as the center. Na 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 And this was the type of melody that I was really asking. No parallel phrasing because parallel phrasing is from the classic period and what you're doing there is you are not really composing too much. That's actually a wonderful way of extending further if you have a big work to do, use parallel phrasing to give the sensation, also to, to hit into the head to people, oh, this is my tune, because it's a very complex tune, then use parallel phrasing. Right? Yes. Parallel, phrasing. parallel phrasing is one that, uh, so um, uh, that uh, the second phrase starts the same way, but then in, the, in a different way. In so, so that was my, my two phrases, so I use this often. <laughs> no, yeah, it's okay, it's okay, but what, what happens there, you see, what happens is that as, as far as, as a, a tune goes, it's wonderful and it's all, but what, what you're doing is you're limiting in, in that little amount of time that you can give mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. you're taking away the creative principle of creating more stuff. Cause you're, and that is wonderful, you can use it, mm -hmm. And uh, it's a wonderful way of, I mean, it's a phrasing, it's, it's a wonderful thing. It's just that be careful why you're using it and when you're using it. So the same thing happens here now. This one is... So now that was not very exciting as a melody. And I just did it like that. I was try trying to... Now, what if you were to use still these three notes, what if I were to tell you, create a climax? Somewhere, I want you to create a tension. And you can start either by the tension in the beginning, or the tension in the middle of the piece, or the tension at the end. So, that is your next, next, next thing to include. Your music has to have somewhere where you say, oh, it's going somewhere, oh, now it's arrived, and now it's concluding. See, this is how most of the stories that we love, the movies that we love watching, this is how most of them are. And yes? But if there's tension, can we also have the beginning? Yes, so you can, why not create? Let's see what happens. So, for example, I have this, no? So I, na, so, so let's, I do the CD, right? Na, 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 so, na, 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 na. Na 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 na. So my tension was in me. It's like na 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 na. So all you could do na 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 na. So there, my tension was towards the end. So you can do various things. So you are, and how do you create the tension? Sure, it's by an acceleration of rhythm. Here you can't do much else. You have only those three notes, so a choice. Other thing also, think about why not, why to use right away the three notes. So na 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 But then you didn't hear these two notes. That you didn't you didn't even hear that coming down. So na 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 na. So you see, 
idea I created two melodies and very different. By the way, I also included here the inversion. You didn't notice, but I was paying attention to it because I was doing na 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 na. So C C C C D C E E E D E C. So that's the inversion of the first melody. So and then I included the little thing. So these are things that you can put and then even mark it with a little pencil. You can do this and say this is my P, but you don't need to write P generally. But yeah, you can. Because if you are doing a retrograde only of that section of the melody, but your melody continues here, so you have something like that. So then you go and say, okay, now comes here the inversion. So the inversion of that is basically, I have to put a middle here, so it has to go like, like that and like that. Okay, so it's going to go this way. So, and then you say I here. Now what you have done, which was very beautiful, Last time. Can you play that piece again? <laughs> Last time was the, the one. Okay, so what he had done, which was very interesting, is that he had made a repetition of the, the sequence and then he did something different here, so he did two times that, and then at the end he did that, but he did this. So it was very interesting because you see, we notice patterns. So if I do this, then I do. Then I do. Okay, that's nothing. And now here, but now what he did here was so you see, you see you have A and A again. This is B. The A would come back, but it's not A anymore. It would be A prime. And that's that's how music. You can actually draw it first, and then you can make the melodies, right? Because that that it's, it's it's like that, and that's very interesting. Okay, so you do that. You can actually then so you can do that. You can do here, and you say, okay, I don't want that. What I do is I eliminate this part, so I have that. So ta da. You can do things like that. So you can you can eliminate or add material. So I can do this. And uh, you can say at the end I do this, and I add it three, four times. <laughs> okay, so it's just this is practically drawing. Okay, so please return back to the three notes and try and see to make it. Let's go and see the five notes. Oh, by the way, then what I asked was to create for those of you who want to do the counterpoint is the uh, the melody against this other melody that you had already written using other three sets of notes. Also, these ones you can use, but any other three, but it has to be without sharps or without accidentals, and it has to be side-by-side -side notes. So F, G, A, G, A, B, E, F, G, whatever you want, but it, it can't be uh, F sharp or whatever, G sharp or whatever, okay? And comes there. That's it. That was tough one for me. Yes, it will be, right? <laughs> but you see, what, what, what is wonderful is that I'm giving all this, but already you can you can already, with the single melodic lines, in which you should catch on and maybe just stop there and do only that for a while, because that's what you, you, she was saying, no, things are maybe a bit too difficult. But no, the thing is, like, if you want to do only one melody with ABC, do only one. But make it that it's worth that I publish it next time. Because that's what I was asking. Really make all your melodies so, like, put really your maximum. You imagine you want to do a violin method or a flute method for a beginner student, and you want to start with these three notes. They already know how to play these three notes, and they, they want to play tunes that are really, really nice. And sure, they only have these reasons because also they're beginner tunes, so we're not going to have complicated stuff. But how many bars? Because you said four So bars it was between so four and eight. You see, I said, don't go over it, but again, it's not, if you have nine, it doesn't really matter if you have five. You have, but three, I would like, well, why not? Maybe you have, you can do something with three bars. But it's already because I said 4-4, four, four. so 3 bars of 4-4 four, four is, is really very little because you want to create, you want to have a lot of these ones. Intention is not possible. Yeah, no, because this is your beat. This is your downbeat. This is da da so this is ta 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 This is your beat. This is ta ta right? So this ta 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 ta
much. I mean, you can go faster. Who says your beat has to be so slow? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, tan, tan, ta, 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 It's like, this is your beat, but this has your value. So when you play it slow, really, you play slow, but you know children how they are, you know, once they know their songs, so you know, anyway, it goes faster, so, you know. And, and it's very interesting to get that as a, as a beat because uh, the music we are going to do is actually in 2-2. Most of it is in, not in 4-4. Four, four. It's in 2-2 two, two where actually this is a downbeat and upbeat. So it is just... Ah, sorry, I do it properly. Okay. Ta, ta, ta. So actually it's in one beat really. And this will be... Tam, 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 tam. Ra, ta, 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 so ta 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 right ta 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 what they the, what they're thinking if you didn't go to hear them it's it's this 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 is this is super 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 music the thing that he broke it up here when you did the first part mm. and he started talking and i was very upset i said to him what why are you ending with the dominant it was not the dominant it's just that it has an a of it has the third on the top voices so what happens is it gives a very unconclusive feeling and he said, oh, and they started talking, I said, how, that, how could that finish that way? <laughs> because I know it can't finish that way. And I didn't know it was the same piece that was continuous. Mm -hmm. But, um, but this, this, is, uh, this is marvelous music. Now, if you were to look at the, the values, the fastest values in this is already, we are already using two of these as a couplet, uh, always. This is, this is the fastest value in here, right? This is really, but that's a, that's a really fast. So it's it's tam 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 that's how, that's how you can, that's how this is played, huh? But and it should not use eight notes, right? Yeah. And it will be generally like that. One, two, one, two, three. And that's exactly what they have here, and here what they have is the rest. Tum, ta da dum tum. 